Hello, this is a short video about the first part of lab 2. So we have this breakout board with an 80 mega 32U4 on it, which I call the Eduino. And we want to upload a program on it to, in order to control this LED up here. So just zooming in briefly so that you can see I'm talking about this LED up here, the, the white square part there under PE6 is an LED. This is a micro USB connector, standard as you know from charging phones. And here we have the reset, reset button which we will need in order to actually get into the so-called bootloader on this chip. So what I will do is I will put it on my little breadboard here so that it doesn't run away. Um, looks like this in detail now sitting there. It doesn't have to be inserted fully um, because it's easier to get off if you leave it a little bit out. But this way it doesn't run away and uh, there's no risk of the pins short-setting with anything on the table. So now I take a micro USB cable and connect it to my computer. And uh, so also this in close up looks like this now. And you see there's something already happening with this LED over here. This LED here indicates that there's power and this LED over here is controlled by software. If it's doing this uh, ramping up and down mode, then you are normally in the bootloader. But it could also be another program which is already running on this microcontroller. So what I will do now is I will switch over to the view on my computer here, where I have Atmel Studio, and I will create a new GCC executable project. It will be called GCC Application 11. I don't care about the name right now, but we choose this option here. Then we are asked for the proper name of the microcontroller device selection here. And it's a 80 mega 32U4. So if I enter 32U4 in the field up here, then we only see the single chip which actually matches this string from the whole list and that's the 80 mega 32 u4 double click on it and we get a an empty new project um, with a prepared loop here an int main void replace with your application code what i want to do is i want to tell the my the compiler how fast our microcontroller is running and that i do with the line Hashtag define f underscore CPU eight one two three four five six zeros UL. So it's an eight megahertz microcontroller, and uh, UL stands for unsigned long, um, so that it's actually mapped in the right type of variable. And uh, then I also want to include another library. I want to include the library which uh, can be used for uh, making delays, time delays. And uh, that would be the util delay.h. So you see, I don't have to type too much. Uh, the compiler or the, the IDE actually gives me a lot of help here um, by suggesting what I want. And uh, now, following the instructions, I will uh, write the corresponding lines here. DDRE equals 0, B, 0, 1, two zeros, and then another four zeros. This switches on the output functionality of the pin of the microcontroller, which controls this LED. And what I want to do then is to switch the LED on and off alternatingly. And switching on, I can do by setting port E to 0B01002. 
one, two, three, four zeros. Then I want to wait. Let's wait a second. Delay milliseconds 1000. And then I want to switch it off. And I can do this by setting uh, the variable port E to zero. And I want to wait another time here. And let's say we wait for 500 milliseconds. So on for a second, off for half a second. I compile the code. And my code uses 246 bytes of the program memory, still no usage of data memory whatsoever. And uh, this file exists now in the form of a .hex file as we looked into yesterday. So if I try to find it, I will go to my not so ordered, well, it's quite ordered catalog structure here and it would be the latest modified directory it's here in this directory it's in this file and then a folder and then here we have this gcc application 11.hex is a file which we want to get into our microcontroller in order to do that i will go into avr do this and uh, i have selected the correct programmer. So we have a long list of programmers here. And what we want to have is the AVR109 programmer here. And we have to choose the correct COM port. And I'm not completely certain that COM4 is the correct port. So I will now double click the boot reset button here. And then I go back uh, to we do this and see if a new COM port showed up. So I go here, I double click. And now it is COM4. That looks okay then. I can do a detect on this port. And probably I'm already out of the bootload. No, it detected correctly an 80 mega 32 U4 down here. Now I have to find the correct file to program, and that is not this file here. It would actually be our GCC application 11. GCC application 11, debug, GCC application 11.hex. So we want to write it into the flash memory. So up here we have to enter or to select the correct file. And now I put it back into the bootloader mode and I choose program and it says down here connecting to the programmer and uh, actually well it came for, did everything quite fast but down here it said now verifying and 246 bytes of flash verified so actually let me show you what it looks on the other side of my desk here and you see that the type of blinking of my LED has changed so actually now it's on for a second off for half a second controlled, fully controlled by our own little program. Let me show it to you in the detail view. So on, off, on, off, on, off. And if I go back into the bootloader mode here by double clicking, then you, you would see that we are back in, no, that we are back in this fading mode of the LED.